My name is Alan Kirk. I'm the chairman of surgery for the Department of Surgery at the Duke University School of Medicine, and I'm the surgeon in chief for the Duke University Health System. I'm a transplant surgeon. Uh, I have a laboratory, um, and I also edit a journal, but uh, also have significant administrative responsibilities for the department. A lot of people ask me why they should come to Duke, and there are a lot of good reasons, but these are the ones that are most compelling to me. First of all, as you see behind us, Duke is a part of the academic campus. Our health system is on the campus. It's not at a downtown location or off-site, and that's more than just a geographic plus. Uh, that immerses us in an academic environment that is extraordinary. It brings students, it brings faculty, it brings insight, it brings dialogue uh, that you wouldn't have if you were geographically separated. And I think that's important. Secondly, Duke is a place where the academic input of surgeons is not tolerated, it is required. We are expected to be part of the discovery mission, and that's increasingly unusual uh, as you look across the spectrum of uh, surgical training programs. Duke is not a place where you have the option of participating in discovery. Uh, it's actually your obligation, and by being an integral part of the discovery mission, uh, that brings surgery to an entirely different level. Now, being part of a great academic community and part of a discovery mission does not mean that we're also not extraordinarily focused on clinical excellence. Uh, this year, we'll do over 80,000 operative procedures here at Duke, so there is extraordinary clinical volume, and essentially every procedure that is done is done here and done well. Uh, we expect our residents to be extraordinary. We expect our attendings to be extraordinary. But that's not where it ends. That is just the ticket to play. Because when you are extraordinarily good technically, you can then start thinking about not just how to operate, but why we operate and how we can operate better and what we can do uh, to improve the field. We want to leave surgery and science in general uh, better for our input, uh, not just try to do what's in the status quo. So we've got a great academic community, we have an extraordinary clinical enterprise, and we also live in a community uh, that you can afford to live in. Uh, if you look around the country at programs that have our level of academic achievement and the size and scope of the clinical mission that we have, and then ask where, as a resident, can you afford to buy a house and settle with your family and have a yard and a good quality of life? There are very, very few, if any, places that rival Duke in that regard. So I think that it's important, as you're thinking about what you want to be as a surgeon, uh, to consider the entire picture, uh, to consider uh, how good a technical surgeon you want to be how thoughtful a surgeon you want to be, and how you want to integrate that into your life to make sure that it's a sustainable life and one that uh, enriches you and your family and your colleagues for years to come. Residency is a long uh, and challenging period of your life. It's important that you think of the entirety of your life uh, while you're doing that. So I think it's important when you're looking around for a program to consider whether your interests are going to be encouraged or merely tolerated. A lot of programs will express a desire to have their residents do research, um, but then leave it largely to the resident to try to figure out how they're going to make that happen. At Duke, that's not something that we leave to chance. It's something that we build into the program. We have a separate research residency. We have extraordinary facilities and a group of very strong funded investigators uh, to work with. 
uh, and we start the process of teaching you how to be an independent investigator on day one. Uh, we will engage you uh, to find good mentorship. We'll provide you the opportunity to understand what funding opportunities there are. And we'll start working to expressly teach you how to apply for peer-reviewed funding. We will uh, not leave that to chance. It's also important to recognize that if you go to an institution uh, with the anticipation of becoming a clinician scientist, you need to go to an institution that has funded clinician scientists because that skill set is not one you just pick up. It is one that has to be uh, expressly focused upon. And we have many, many very successful, well-funded, highly impactful clinician scientists amongst our faculty. We have great collaborations across many departments such that many of our surgical residents will go into labs that aren't in the Department of Surgery, but rather uh, in the Department of Biochemistry or Immunology or Computer Science. And we have many translational research opportunities, uh, for example, with the Duke Clinical Research Institute, where individuals that want to express their creativity and discovery mission through uh, health services research or computational studies or even uh, behavioral economics, we have the capacity to help you do what you want to do in that discovery mission. The only thing we ask is that you're sufficiently aspirational, that you're reaching for something that's important, and uh, are engaged with us in trying to do something that you will look back on as being important and will set you up for a great career. Uh, I think that career is uh, shown by the remarkable positions that our residents go to after they're here. Uh, indeed, as you look on the website, uh, we show every single resident since 1970 and where they went uh, after they came to Duke. Uh, we're not uh, asking you to just trust us that our residents go far. Uh, just look at where our residents have gone and you'll see that 76% of them have uh, received professorships and went on to academic careers. And many of those individuals that are no longer in academic careers are CEOs of their own companies or have taken major roles in government uh, that the potential uh, for taking a Duke training experience and moving to something uh, extraordinary is uh, not something we just say, but something we demonstrate uh, by looking at where our residents have been. So I think it's fair to say that most uh, outstanding residency programs are really focused on making sure that you are a technically safe and competent surgeon, and certainly Duke is no exception there. Uh, a smaller percentage of programs put the same amount of focus into the discovery mission, making sure that you're a competent and thoughtful uh, investigator that's improving the field, not just participating in it. But I think it's even a smaller minority that take the same focus on leadership that we do. Uh, throughout your experience here at Duke, uh, you'll find that the residents are active participants in meaningful leadership uh, experiences, not just within the Department of Surgery or in the School of Medicine, but across the entire university. And that's led our uh, residents to do some remarkable things, including starting their own training programs in uh, innovation, for example, or participating in national forums for resident education. Uh, and indeed, at the beginning of the chief resident year, we undergo explicit and formal leadership training for all chief residents and have the administrative chief resident rotate through all of the chiefs to give every chief resident the opportunity of working directly with the administration of the department to understand how it is that we run the department, what it takes to uh, put together a multi-site 
complex clinical environment uh, and uh, understand many of the challenges that are uh, inherent in running a complex organization. Uh, I think that it's safe to say that most people leave residency without a real understanding of the economics of how a surgery department are run or the human resource issues or the supply chain issues. And we try to make sure that you're at least exposed to that explicitly so that you come out into your first faculty position with much better insight about the specifics of how it all gets put together. In general, uh, we want to make sure that you leave here as a safe, competent, extraordinarily good and compassionate clinical surgeon, one that has an understanding of the discovery mission such that you are providing insight that will last beyond your tenure and that you're able to have the leadership skills to influence those around you to make sure that your clinical contributions and your discovery contributions become part of policy and actually change the way that healthcare is delivered in the United States. The innovation mission is a relatively new focus for uh, healthcare in general. Uh, it's not new for Duke, uh, but it is one that's typically not considered when you're looking for a surgical residency program. Our innovation portfolio here at Duke is extraordinary. The opportunities uh, to participate in device development, design courses, uh, collaborations with engineering, with data science, uh, in fact, have led many of our residents to start their own companies, uh, to uh, be engaged in uh, device design and implementation uh, in ways that uh, would not be possible without the explicit resources and interest of the innovation mission. In particular, the Duke Institute for Health Innovation, DHI, is a great partnership organization within the health system to help us provide resources, particularly for highly data-driven uh, innovations, for uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and decision, uh, clinical decision support tool development. All of that is something that we anticipate the residents will participate in, uh, not uh, to the exclusion of the other strong points to our residency, but really uh, just as part of uh, making the world better and getting things done better. Indeed, we have a laboratory called the Laboratory for Transformative Administration, uh, which provides resources uh, for improving the uh, health services delivery in a complex operative environment using uh, real life data streams across the health system to provide improvements in the way we administer health uh, and administer operating rooms. So regardless of where you want to make your impact, the opportunities and the explicit support for doing those types of innovative pro uh, projects is something that I think you'll find here um, and will likely lead you to anticipate uh, innovative solutions to problems that you wouldn't otherwise uh, find yourself doing. In all, uh, we anticipate that our residents will be innovators and we want to help you learn the language, the vernacular, if you will, of innovation, of device design, of new drug development, uh, so that you can participate in that in the years to come. Duke is a place for everyone. We encourage people uh, who come from every different perspective, walk of life, uh, and want to challenge them to do the best they can do. Indeed, uh, we know that discovery works best when we have multiple, sometimes conflicting points of view. Our diversity of opinion diversity of experience and diversity of background is something that is critical to the missions that we want to uh, foster. Everybody who is aspirational, everybody who cares about other people, 
Everybody who wants to really make a difference in surgery is welcomed and encouraged here. This is critical to our mission. Uh, so in all, I think there are many reasons to come to Duke. Uh, indeed, uh, whatever you want to become in surgery is something that we can help you become. The only thing that I ask is that all of our residents are aspirational and earnest. We want people to believe in what they're doing. We want to give them the support to do that. Uh, and we want you to reach for something that is beyond what you thought you could reach for. Uh, that's uh, where we find people doing their best work. Um, I think this is a great place for the right uh, person. And that right person is someone who's, who's dreaming big and is really a believer in trying to make healthcare and surgery better for the future.